Well, hey there, everybody. I just want to give a big shout out to all the members that signed up, man. Really, it really touches my soul. Really, at the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate all y'all, man. Thank y'all so much. And if you haven't signed up, go right ahead and hit that little join button and just join in the family. So, thank you so much once again. Y'all have a wonderful day or night and take care. Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Thank you for coming back as always. I appreciate it. Really hope you're having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another Versus thing. Yeah, I love that. So, like I said, I just did the review for the New Age uh, Cliff Jumper and Bumblebee. And I'm going to do a Versus, you know, with them against the Magic Square. So, you know, not much to talk about. Just uh, let's just get right to it. That's what you came for. Yay. Yeah. All right, folks, there they are in their alt modes. This is New Age. These two are the Magic Square. Other one is new age for that. So first things we're gonna go over accessories. So with Bumblebee, he comes with a jetpack, which is painted. That is nice. Also comes with a little PP shooter, and has an option of the tire on the back during alt mode, and then has this just block piece and. Uh, bot mode it's nicely painted yellow now with magic square you only get the little pea shooter which is fine i'm glad they got a gun with them and they do come with some tires <clears throat> now i have to give it magic square wins in the tire department because they look more realistic and they have rubber tires and that's pretty cool and both sets of uh cliff jumper and uh bumblebee come with a, a extra pair or extra set of tires so that's pretty cool. Now, Cliff Jumper, he does come with his big F and G. It has an option to pull this down so you can hold it in two spots. And these come off and they become that little episode of uh, the sleds. Now he only comes with two and they do attach right here and they can attach on Bumblebee as well. He has a spot right there too. So, but he only comes with two. Now with Cliff Jumper from New Age, he gets his BFG. It's a little smaller, but it is painted. It does come apart. You just slide it back in there. And he comes with the little sleds as well, but he comes with four and they are magnetic. And I like that. So that's pretty cool. And they work on Bumblebee as well. So overall, New Age. New Age wins in the accessory department, in my opinion. All right, let's take a look at alt modes. We'll take a look at Bumblebee first. So here is the New Age one. Once again, love that blue metallic paint right there. It's got the nice uh, shiny plastic. It could be painted as well. But it's got that nice sheen to it, so you can see the, the glossy. You do got paint on the... Uh, lights, headlights, and you got this is painted gray. Like I said, you do have the option to put that little tire on the back. Underneath, you can see the hands, that's about it. And it's really small. And then you got the uh, New Age, I'm sorry, Magic Square, golly. I do like the blue paint as well, but I like the metallic better, but still like that light blue. And they got silver for the uh, headlights and gray. For the bumper, and you can see, like I said, the tires are a little better than what the new age ones are. And underneath, yeah, see the legs a little bit. And you got the tire right there. You got this is painted as well. And they are, you can tell Magic Square. Now Magic Square, you know, tends to be bigger than New Age, anyways. But as you can tell, he is a little bigger. This is more painterly than what the uh, new age one is, but not a whole lot of real estate to work on these little fellas. And here's the back and underneath. So there you go. That is Bumblebee. And let's take a look at Cliff Jumper, old Cliffy. There he is once again, beautiful metallic windows. The nice sheen to it. You got that little 
blue spot or black spot right there. That's on the toy. Kind of like I said, I kind of wish they would have done something like maybe painted some headlights or something or, you know, silver or anything like that. Just a whole bunch of red right there. But it's fine. You got the windshield wipers as well. And this side and the back, you got the little tire underneath. And then we got Magic Square. So I do like the blue, but I like the metallic blue better. Little panely. I do like the tires. I see they got paint right there. You got the silver on the front and on the side and in the back underneath. So we'll take a look at these two. Once again, same height difference. You got this. and the back there you go. so that is alt modes and once again giving it for new age they look more you know more realistic especially cliff jumper i like the car mode on cliff jumper a lot better than the magic skirt one but yeah overall i had to say uh, other than the tires i like the look of new age more than magic square so there you go, that is alt mode. All right, back from transformation, and I have to give it a push for the transformation because they're both really fun. The engineering are really nice on both of them for such for being such you know small transformers. I love how the tires go up inside the chest for the Magic Square. I love the transformation from both uh, you know Cliff Jumper and Bumblebee and New Age. It's really nicely done, but uh, yeah, had to push it for that because both of them are really fun. And there they are holding their train, you know, their guns as well, their weapons. Uh, it looks like Bumblebee is like an angel. You got the light. Oh. But I forgot to mention, Cliff Jumper does have a pistol. I didn't show that off. He does come with a pistol as well. But we'll quickly take a look at this. So I love that they painted the new age ones. But there they are holding their weapons and stuff. And then Bumblebee, both their little pea shooters. And he does have the uh, backpack or the jetpack. So there's that on him too. So, you know, like I said, I, accessories, I gave it to New Age because they painted them. They look better. There you go, the weapons. All right, took the weapons out. So let's go over sculpt work and articulation. So we'll take a look at them together real quick. Just a quick look at them. I said the only issue I really had with New Age in the bot mode was the uh, looseness of the hips and the arms around the ball joints, but they can be fixed. So there they are. And then the back of them. Like I said, you can switch out. You can leave the tire if you want to. doesn't matter. It's your transformer. But there's the back and the legs. So I'm just going to go over articulation for one on like, you know, the bumblebees because they're all the same into articulation. So as far as head sculpts, definitely, definitely give it to uh, New Age. Man, that, uh, oh, he's just surprised to see you kind of look. It's just, yeah. So nothing down. You look up quite a bit. And if you put the jetpack on, you can fly around. So that's nice. Side to side, no, uh, or no, um, attitude now you can go up and down like this all the way up to there all the way around 90 degrees for the elbow bend swivel and you can swivel and move the hand in and out because it's on a ball joint waist swivel <laughs> mad ab crunch i mean you can just see his little pee pee so Tons of articulation right there. Van damn it. Kick up, kick back, swivel up top because of the ball joint, and they got a cut right there. Not much on the knee bend because that little piece back there gets in the way, but you do have a toe tilt up, down, and you do have a rocker. So that is nicely done. And then for him, for Magic Square, all you can do is swivel, no up or down. Up to there, all the way around, more than 90 degrees for the elbow bend, 
He does have a swivel. And I think he has a swivel for the hand too. Maybe not. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. You can move it. Sorry. Uh, back and forth and everything, a little swivel. He does have the waist swivel. No ab crunch. Uh, Van Damme it. Kick up. Now, like I said, with Cliff Jumper, I may have to shave it a little off right there because it gets stuck. I mean, it does move, but it does get hindered up in there. You know, it gets held up. But you can go all the way back and up. Thigh swivel again with a ball joint. And it has a cut. He does have a 90 degrees knee bend, so they beat him in that. Uh, no toe tilt up or down, just a rocker. But I do like the feet better on the Magic Square. They look a little, they clean up a little better than what the New Age ones does. But overall, articulation, definitely give it to um, New Age. They can do more, especially with the feet, and you got an ab crunch too. So that was Bumblebee. If I can get him to stand up. And now let's just take a quick look at Cliff Jumper. I'm not going to go over articulation or anything like that. Like I said, they're both the same. And um, so, head sculpts. Definitely new age. Man, that Magic Square one looks like a bug or an alien queen or something. So, definitely new age. And the chest and everything. Like I said, the only thing that really bothers me about New Age is the uh, ball joints. There's the legs. You gonna focus. I may have to get rid of the bumblebees. One second. Let's see if I can get that to focus. There you go. Yeah. Let's take a look at the backs. There's the backs. But like I said, I do like the feet better on Magic Square. All right. So there is New Age Megatron and Magic Square Optimus Prime. Now, they don't have a New Age Optimus Prime yet, so really can't scale them with this. But New Age is really small. I don't think they were up to Megatron's kneecaps in the G1 cartoon. So they are really small. Now, the Magic Square, uh, kind of, yeah, a little small also for Optimus Prime. I think they at least came up to their, his waist, I think, in the cartoon. But scale is in the eye of the beholder. I mean, it really doesn't, you know, doesn't bother me. I mean, as far as that, I know it really bothers some people, but I think all, both of them are really off scale, to be honest. They're really tiny, especially the new age ones. Like I said, you know, Prime is going to be a little smaller than uh, Megatron in new age. More than likely, he should be. But it's still, he's right there at... Uh, Megatron's kneecap. You can see his uh, Cliff Jumper's head at Megatron's kneecap. So they are really, really small and everything. So I don't know if they really scale well with Megatron and uh, Optimus Prime, but just want to show you that. So there you go, scale.
Hope you like that little versus thing. Definitely new age does it for me. I love the alt mode. I love the bot mode. Transformation is fun. It just looks a lot better to me. And I love the head sculpts. So hit me with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go down and hit that sub button for me. Definitely hit me with some comments and tell me which one you'd like better. Uh, this, you know, New Age uh, does it for me as far as Cliff Jumper and Bibble B. So I guess I'll see you in the next versus thing. As always, be good to yourself. Hell legends. And good night, folks. Hell Hasbro.